Watch. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Will the Roofer. We're here at Coastal Flats, and I'm with a very important guest, one of my one of my inspirations. Um, <laughs> who say girls can't do it in roofing, right? Right. Uh, we have the the one, the only Golden Gabby, and um, just a quick intro. You know, I, I met Gabby maybe a year, actually, more than like a year ago to the day, huh? Yeah, like a year ago, because I started at Keystone uh, by the end of um, November. Okay. Oh, no, uh, end of October. Okay. So, yeah, November, December were my first wow. couple months. And so one of the things about um, any sales, right, you have your flash in the pan type of folks who they get off to a fast start, but then they kind of fizzle out um, like a shooting star, right? Those things, zoom, real bright, and they, what happened to it? But from the moment I heard about Gabby, she has consistently put numbers on the board in an industry that is dominated by men. And, um, you know, they, they say girls can't do it. So, Gabby, I wanted to just, we're here at Coastal Flats in Maryland. What is this uh, called? The, um, the, the Crown or something like that? So, we're here at Coastal Flats, and uh, we have a few moments to spend some time with you. And I just want to hear about you. You know, what is your, uh, what's your motivation? Uh, how did you get into this thing? And and then what, what are your goals for the future? So how did you get into this thing? So the way I got into this is because uh, I was living in Louisiana. So I was a stay mom home. That's what you say, right? Stay, well, well no, home. Well, stay home. But uh, stay, uh -huh. I'm from Louisiana originally. I'm from New Orleans. Oh, really? I mean, oh, my God. Stay home, girl. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I'm, uh -huh. I'm from New Orleans, uh -huh. and I went to high school in Virginia Beach. Uh huh. And uh, now I'm up here, and oh my god, that is so. We gotta, we have more to talk about after the video. But, yeah. But okay. <laughs> dímelo, dímelo. So stay at home, mom, in, in Louisiana. Uh, yeah. So I, I recently moved to Maryland back again because my family's here. I was living here. I just moved down there because I met my husband and got married. So. Ah, congrats. Yeah, that's why. No so. Real. <laughs> And then, you know, I was talking to my brothers because um, I wanted to start something that would allow me to manage my own time. Okay. So the first goal was to get into something that I can manage my time. I can have the freedom to go back to my son um, because now he's four years old. And that's my motivation right there. My family, my husband, my son. Uh, because I, I, you know, I never want to put him on a daycare. Just personally, I didn't want to do that. My husband either. So we take care of him. If I'm working, my husband is home with him. Or um, if he's working, I'm home with my son. So they are my motivation. Uh, of course, my mom uh, are, you know, every day I go out there, I have a picture of my family. And, you know, I just... Um, I just like play the same game that George, you know, <laughs> used to do. Like, you know, because I keep telling me, I right, because it was hard for me the transition from being home every day with my son. Mm -hmm. I had separation issues right there. You know, I didn't want to leave him. Uh, and but doing this, uh, my brother. I remember my brother. So okay, I have friends that work in roofing industry. Okay. I was like, whatever it is that it's gonna, you know, be like, I'm gonna be able to manage my time. I don't care, I'll, I'll do it. And then, you know, they told me about, you know, the income and all that. I saw the vision, so I saw there was potential of making money here. Um, but the, the first company that I started first, there was no room for me to grow. Okay. Um, I remember listening to Adam Bensman. You have you heard of him? Which one? Adam Bensman. Oh, the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The roof um, strategies. Yes. Because I had Adam? yes, <laughs> I had no training, no training at all. But I remember, and those words like stay, like stick on my mind. Right. Like you are in the right business. Okay. You just gotta find the right company. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, and then they found me. Mm -hmm. And I was like praying for something like Keystone. And when they presented me the opportunity, I was like, what do I have to do? Where do I sign? Like, just tell me what I have to do. Because they tell me, you know, you got to go door knocking. I was like, okay, that's it. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. You know? Uh, and I haven't stopped since then. 
Wow. Basically, yeah, I go, you know, it's true that, it, like, when I started, I was going out every day from sun up to sundown, okay. knocking doors, because I had no clients. But sure. now it's my clients, they keep me busy. I still go knock, but they keep giving me referrals. Can you go help this one? So I get booked with inspections the whole week trying to help, you know, my clients when they, now they refer me to their friends and families. Okay. So, so not to cut you off, but I mean, you're, you're saying so many impactful things. And to someone who's watching this, it might go totally over their head. So let me just try to dissect a few of those things one by one, okay? Yeah, so, sorry, I talked too much. No, no, no. You, you, you're saying, you're talking, you're saying all the right things, but you're dropping so many golden nuggets that you can make a gold bar out of it. And I don't want the right person to miss this honey sweet nectar that you're that you're sharing with us so first thing you were looking for something to help you manage your time yes so you could have done you, know, you could have done uber or you could have worked at best buy it, it, so you, a lot of things you could have done but you were not looking to have a job to take your life you wanted a, a career opportunity where you could design your life around it Yes. And that's what you found, one, in the roofing industry, not necessarily with Keystone yet, because you said you were with another company first. I heard you on a call recently um, where you were saying how you wanted, you, you, like you were a Ferrari, but the engine, the system that you were in was like an inferior model. So you wanted to advance, you wanted to get out of, you know, you, you had hit a ceiling. They wouldn't let you get promoted. Can you tell me a little bit about your previous company that you were with? Yeah, so like I said, uh, you were right. Yeah, I was not only looking for the freedom of my time. I mean, the uh, manage my schedule, right? It was like something that I, you know, that would I, like eventually give me the the opportunity to have the uh, financial freedom. Sure. Oh. Wow. But at the same time, the free of my time. You know, I didn't want to have like a bus. I don't have a bus. He's nice though, but. <laughs> But yeah, this first company, I had, they told me you have to go knock doors. I had no script. I had no training. And most importantly, they didn't tell me that I was going to be rejected at the door, that I was going to have rejections, that I was going to have this and that, all the things that you probably know that we face when we start, you know, going right there, knocking on people's door. And I remember me spending hours. Like, cause I used, like I say, I used to start from, you know, uh, nine in the morning and I, I was not going to knock at nine o'clock. Right. But I will plan my day where like the places I was going to go and then wait around 11. So 11 to one and then take a break. And then I have my hour break to go back to the truck and cry a little bit because <laughs> <laughs> I was, I didn't want crying in baseball. <laughs> I didn't want to knock no more. Like after, you know, people were yelling at me, like, you know, they were like mean people. Mm. And then finally, uh, when I started at Keystone, uh, I felt that I was so blessed when I met Del and Miguel at the street and they picked me up from the street and that's literally what happened. <laughs> I, uh, I am so grateful that they stopped the truck and they, you know, present me to Keystone, introduced me to Keystone. I was like, I could not believe it. And I was, I, I went back home. I, I told my, I was crying, like out of happiness. Wow. I told my mom, I found it. I found it wow. and I remember when I first uh, met George I went to the office I didn't know this guy was the owner <laughs> I, I thought I was talking to you know somebody another I don't know sales person <laughs> he was like and I didn't know that was my interview wow. <laughs> wow. he was asking me you know how many doors a day I knock I was like about a hundred until I get one inspection. I don't know if one or two inspection. I don't know if that's good enough, but I got to let you know that I have no training. So I don't know if that's good enough. <laughs> wow. Wow. So, I mean, that, that's so amazing. So you, you had no training. You had no one guiding you. No. You were just instinctively going out, literally getting your feelings hurt, people yelling at you. Most people, I would imagine, well, one, if you just say knock doors, oh, throw up. The scum of the earth does that, right? But 
you're like, okay, well, it's better than what I'm doing now. You know, it's an opportunity to get where I want to be. And instead of using it as a reason to not do it, you're like, okay, well, if this is how what I need to do in order to get to where I want to be. Yeah, and real quick, big up to Mike and, and Pink Roofing. You know, um, sometimes one of the best things a person can do is just make an introduction, right? Had it not been for him introducing you to Keystone, where would you be? So, and, and we have different situations that help build toughness. So definitely big up to Mike and Pink Roofing and, and much success to you. Um, but, so that was then, and you did the door knocking. How many doors are you knocking today? Uh, you mean... Like, do you have to door knock or...? Yes, I still do because I love to. Okay. I like to meet new people. I like to canvas new neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. Plus, I got to go back and take care of my <laughs> territory, my neighborhoods that I already did houses there. Sure. So, yeah, I, there's still like 100 houses that I haven't done yet wow. that are on my territory because they're my houses. So, I got to, you know. You claim keep, them? Yeah, but now, I claim them. What's your referral them. business looking like, though? Oh, my referral business has just exploded. Like, <laughs> I'm like, wow, this is good. But I still try to make time to go out. Okay. And not. I heard Christian David say once, you know, it's one thing to do something because you have to do it, but it's a totally different thing to do something because you want to do it. So, like, right now, with all the referrals you have coming in, different marketing strategies you have, it sounds like you want to go out door knocking, but if you go without doing it, you'll still be okay because you've done such a wonderful job by your clients. That you, I mean, you've literally created raving fans people who are invested in your success and who want to see you win and succeed. Would you say that's correct? Yes, that's correct. And, you know, I try to, uh, every time I go see my client or a uh, homeowner, because I have to, you know, for any random reason that I have to go to their house, I'm knocking the houses around <laughs> on my way. Like, you know, it's like, w when I say I don't knock as much as before, it's because I used to go from, like I said, 11 to sun down like wow. until it's dark but now it's i i'm a, every day i have appointment right sure. so mm. on my way to that appointment i'm knocking doors after that appointment i'm knocking doors oh my so I, <laughs> your work ethic is yes, <laughs> unbelievable yeah. and so okay transitioning right quick so you had some really really phenomenal back-to-back -back months and I know the food's about to get here, so I don't want the food to get cold. <laughs> and we can continue this later. But what does the future, well, before we get to the future, what would you say to anyone, specifically ladies, but really anyone who's looking for more out of life, but they don't know where to look? They, they want more, they don't know where to look. What would you suggest to them? If I can do it, <laughs> but you can do it. Wow. I mean, oh. Oh man, how about that? Ooh, <laughs> thank you. Fish. Keystone Live. Oh, watch back. Baby got back ribs. All right. You totally hot. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So um, we'll go ahead and wrap this up. But anything that you want to say to the folks, Gabby, like inspiration or the future? I mean, um, for the ladies, ladies, you can do this. Um, if, like I say, if I can do it, you can do it too. If you're looking for um, uh, uh, financial freedom, this and you know, be able to manage your time. This is it. This is what you're looking for. And not only for the ladies, I mean, for the guys too. I mean, there's no excuses. If I can do it, so I, you can do it too. So. <laughs> So we're going to leave it right there. Gabby, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Will. I, I am so inspired by you. And I hope that you all out there who are watching, you know, if, she, if Gabby can do it, you can do it too. There are no secrets. Uh, you can learn any skill set within 24 months. Um, big up to George and the team at Keystone Building and Restoration. You help. You have a system employed that helps average and ordinary looking people achieve extraordinary things. So, George, all the love and respect in the world to you. Um, Gabby, enjoy your lunch. And, Thank um, you. I will. This is Will Cooper, uh, in Coastal Flats in Maryland, Gaithersburg, Maryland. And uh, have a great day.
Calamari. Calamari, okay. <laughs>